What's going on? What's going on, y'all? It's Tech with Obed. And I finally have gotten my hands on the 14, not the 14, the 15 Pro Max. Uh, I just got it uh, the other day. So <clears throat> I was able to uh, get my stuff off of my 12 and onto the 15. It's a lot more harder this time than uh, past years for some reason. But anyway, I got it done. Um, I did meant to show you guys the unboxing, but there was a lot of stuff that I had to do. I had to call cust well, I had to text customer service. I had to go into the store. So there were issues with me getting my 15 Pro set up, but, and it was put on back order for at least a little over a month. So I've been waiting for quite some time, but I'm going to be giving up my 12 Pro Max up uh, just to, uh, for the 15. Now, you know, my issues with the 12 Pro Max, um, the overheating issue, especially when it comes to the 5G, um, it tends to heat up like a hot cake, especially if there's no 5G and it's, you know, the phone is trying to find the nearest 5G tower or whatnot. And so that starts to overheat the phone. And so that was, you know, my issue with the, with the 12 uh, series. The 13, on the other hand, which I'm recording with right now, um, is much, much better than the 12. It doesn't overheat uh, as much. Or, um, and, I, you know, I don't really have the same issues that I did with the 12. And so, but the 12, you know, it's an okay phone. And I'm getting $1,000 off of this trading. Uh, so I do plan to keep my 13 and my 14, which I have right here. Uh, but yeah, I'm giving away my 12 Pro Max. I don't really want it. Uh, and so the 15 has been pretty smooth. The charger, which I've left in my office. I do have a car charger with me, but I'll show you guys anyway. But this is like a new charger that, you know, Apple has right now. Uh, I like it because, you know, for me, you know, I could use my MacBook charger now to charge my phone. And so there's no two separate uh, chargers. And you could also use Android chargers now with this. And so that is pretty cool. But this is the phone, guys. Pretty dope. Almost the same phone as the 15. I'm mean, the 14, excuse me. Um, and so relatively smooth experience. The camera is phenomenal. Uh, no issues there. Um, but, you know, this is probably a bad way to show you guys the unboxing. Uh, because, you know, I pretty much unboxed the phone already. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, like I said, you know, I had issues kind of activating and uh, pushing off the storage that, well, the stuff that I had on this phone to my uh, new phone. So that's the reason why I didn't uh, do a video when I unboxed this previously. And so, likewise, you guys are going to see speed tests with this. Uh, fairly soon, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the three networks. Uh, I do not, well, I probably do plan to upgrade the Verizon line next year when the 16 does come out. Uh, so I'm going to keep my 13 for now. Um, but if I do see an enticing deal, then, you know, I may take it. But for now, I'm going to keep this. But overall, I like this phone. I really do. Uh, the battery life on this phone is amazing. I don't really have to charge it as much. Uh, it lasts, honestly, a few days. So not as much charging as I did uh, on the other models. Even the 14 is starting to die down in terms of like the, well, the battery capacity. I've had it for almost a year, year now. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the battery capacity on this. It's like 91 now. I've only had the phone for almost a year now, so it's so the battery is you know definitely started to age just a bit. And so, uh, so if you guys ever done so, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to the channel. Also, turn on your bell notifications so you get notified. You may have to unsubscribe and subscribe again. Uh, YouTube has unfortunately um, has has had some issues pushing out notifications, but otherwise. Uh, you guys know the gig. Uh, follow me on 
uh, Twitter or X as they call it now uh, at uh, Tech with Obed. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.